Not everything that we thought was going to happen has happened. Uh, still worse, we are devastated by the news divulged to the people of Southern Sudan by the president uh, in his letters to some of the former and, uh, and uh, current uh, officials who have uh, uh, in one way or another uh, failed to return uh, monies that they probably uh, accrued in uh, wrong ways back to the, to the government coffers. So this is one of the, our greatest uh, 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 disappointments, especially when we look at the rural people and we know that they haven't enjoyed anything since 2005 except the peace that prevails in certain areas. There are also other areas where there is, where there is insecurity and they, the, 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 the ordinary man in those areas have not enjoyed any peace. And therefore, uh, to me, the dividends of, uh, of the peace agreement and the dividends of the independence so far have been in the hands of the elites who are ruling in Cuba. I would like to congratulate the Southern Sudanese people or the South Sudanese people for their resilience an outstanding struggle over centuries, over centuries to arrive at what we have arrived at. We have no regrets in this independence at all, no regrets whatsoever. But I think we should stop, we should get off our backs and start working very hard so that our country can catch up with countries which had independence much longer than, than, than our one year independence. Celebrating South Sudan's independence through dreams and action.